Well, great to see the sunshine today. I know it is such a welcome view when yeah. we have the winter time where we have a lot of that seasonal disorder issues with the yeah. cloudy skies. We have been pretty good in this whole month of February experiencing the sunshine and we're going to stay in a sunny stretch. There is a system to our south that is not going to have any impacts here locally as far as rain goes. We will see some cloud coverage kicking in later on tonight, um, but really that isn't going to cause us any issues either because we're just going to see those temperatures falling back into the low 20s where they were earlier this morning. 43 degrees right now in Indianapolis. It's 40 in Kokomo, 45 in Bloomington. The winds are very light. They're variable and only around three miles per hour, so that's great. No wind chill out there. It's uh, temperatures will fall into those mid to low 20s first thing in the morning 27 the forecasted low for Indianapolis and then another beautiful sunny day for Sunday. We'll see those temperatures climbing into the low 50s so more than 10 degrees above average Now we are going to see the warming trend continuing as we go into Monday. We'll be back into the mid 50s Monday afternoon and really much of the same on Tuesday as this warm air really starts to fill in ahead of this next system. The next system is going to be relatively weak. However, it is likely going to bring us some light rain as we go into Valentine's Day late afternoon Tuesday on into the evening. Not expecting a lot of rain, a couple tenths of an inch out of this system as it continues to pull off to the northeast into Canada by early Wednesday morning. So Wednesday we're going to be dry. Temperatures are going to soar into the low 60s and then we're going to see some big changes moving in. By Thursday we have this next system that will push in. This will be a stronger system, a lot more moisture to work with heavy downpours associated with this likely Thursday morning. Then the cold front will start to swing through as we go into Thursday afternoon. So this will be with us a chunk of Thursday. It'll be mild as well, but once the cold front moves in by Thursday evening, we could actually see a couple of strong, possibly severe thunderstorms as the cold front triggers more activity into early Friday morning and then potentially a couple of flurries Friday morning, not expecting any accumulation out of that. As we take a look at your seven day forecast. It is a mild one. We'll see those highs climbing into the low 50s on Sunday afternoon. Lots of sunshine 54 the high on Monday afternoon and those lows are very mild as well. By Tuesday we're going to see the rain moving in, especially by late afternoon high of 56. We're into the mid 60s on Wednesday. The record is 72. We're likely going to stay clear of that one, but on Thursday we will see showers and thunderstorms still 60 degrees, but by Friday falling temperatures. It will be windy and cold, blustery conditions, and then Saturday we're back into the upper 30s, seasonable for this time of year.